Yeah, the booty gonna be fat, baby. Okay. Okay. Hello, guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, we're gonna be addressing. I need to look right there. I'm on my phone, so I. If I'm looking at myself, my bad. I'm not used to doing it this way. We're gonna talk about this weight gain journey and how I'm gonna plan to gain weight. Now, you guys are probably thinking like, plan to gain weight, yes. For anyone who doesn't have an appetite like me and struggle to gain weight, you have to actually plan and schedule your meals and all of that. So in this video, I'm going to share that with you. So let's give you a little backstory. I am gluten sensitive, not even a backstory. Take two. I am gluten sensitive and I also try to stay away from dairy as much as possible. Um, doesn't mean I don't eat dairy. I just pick and choose wisely when I'm gonna eat it. My weight is 129. In the last four years, I feel like this is the smallest that I have been since having kids. This year has been very stressful for us all and I feel like when I stress, I don't eat. Most other people, when they stress, they do eat. So why y'all at home gaining weight? I'm over here getting hella skinny. I'm 129 pounds and I am 5'6", so I'm on the taller end of the height for women. Once you know your weight and your height, which most people do know, all you have to do is find a weight calculator. And the way that I did this was just going on Google and finding one myself. I use um, calculators.org and I actually like this one. This is my first time seeing this one and it kind of broke everything down. So you put your weight in, your height, um, your goal weight, uh in how many months you want to achieve it it's going to tell you how much you need to maintain the weight that you're currently at how many calories you need to take in to gain more weight and it's also going to tell you how many calories it will take to maintain the weight that you already gained you see how i broke that down you like that don't you the calculator told me that i needed to take in 2,561 calories in order to reach my goal. I get so distracted, bear with me. Bear with me, bear's down there. Hey bear, hi bear, hi. This is my long hair cat. And it also breaks down how much protein you need. And that's why I really liked um, calculators.org. You got nothing coming if you don't take in your protein. So you really need to be serious about taking in that protein however you can. Once you find out, once you do the calculators.org, the next thing that you're going to do is take the amount of calories that you're supposed to take in in a day. And you're going to divide that by how many meals you want to eat. I hate math too. Queen. For me, yeah. What are you doing? Recording. Oh, the booty, the booty gonna be fat? Yeah, the booty gonna be fat, baby. Okay. Okay. Once you find out how many meals you wanna eat, depending on how late you stay up and all that kind of stuff, you're going to take that number and then apply it to every meal that you're gonna eat. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, all those should be the amount that you got from that little equation you just did. See, I'm moving on really quick because I'm trying to get y'all to get these bounds on quick and I'm trying to have some support. Then you're going to schedule, let me show you, maybe to pick up, see? Schedule um, your meals. And the reason why this is really, really important, you guys, is because I try to uh, gain weight by waking up at 11 or you know a later day feeding the kids going to work i was rushing it so i was just like stuffing my face not enjoying my food felt like work like i said and i just don't want to have that type of lifestyle i want to live happily eat happily and do things happily i said 6 a.m i know y'all seen that i'm not doing it i tried this this week it didn't work for me so i'm going to wake up with the kids like i normally do but make sure I eat breakfast. Breakfast. I know it's breakfast or breakfast. It's one of those, but breakfast is easy. Seven, I'm going to eat breakfast, right? So then we go eight, nine, ten. Ten, I'm going to eat snack, okay? 
And then at one, I'm gonna eat lunch. And then at four, I'm gonna eat another snack. And then at seven, I'm gonna have dinner. And that is basically it. Protein and working out is gonna be the key to keeping the slim waist, the slim face, and all of that stuff. So I'm gonna work out either between seven and 10, or maybe later, depending on how the kids is doing and when I can find time to actually focus. husband approved but anyway this concludes the video guys i hope you enjoyed make sure before you go you check out another video bye